I'd like to solve a distance problem for you. We want to remember when we're solving distance, our basic idea, basic formula, distance is equal to rate times time. Let me read this problem and show you how we'll set this up and solve it. With the wind behind her, a skater crossed a frozen river a mile wide in three minutes. She skated straight into the wind on her return trip, which took 15 minutes. Find the speed of the wind. So she's skating across the river. The wind is pushing her. She skates the distance, the mile, in three minutes. But now coming back, the wind is fighting her. She's skating against the wind, which of course will slow her actual rate. And it takes her 15 minutes to get back. So let's see what's happening. We know that distance is rate times time. Now, what's the same in this problem is the mile. It is one mile across the river. So when she crosses the river, traveling with the wind, what's going for her is her rate, let's call that S, plus the wind which is pushing her. So S would be her skating rate, say on an ice skating rink, where there's no wind forces, and the wind is adding to her rate. And she does it in three minutes. Now we have to be careful because rate is thought of as in miles per hour. So that three minutes, I want to write that as times three divided by 60. You see I'm expressing the time in hours. Now when she comes back, here's the problem. When she comes back, the distance is the same. It's still a mile because she crossed it and now she's coming back. Well, the difference is the wind is fighting her. So the actual rate would be her rate S, but this time minus the speed of the wind minus W. Now, coming back, it takes her 15 minutes. So we express that as 15 divided by 60. So I have a system here of two equations. When working with distance, you always want to think what's equal. What gives us equality? Now, the distances are the same, and you might be thinking, well, gosh, could we set these two equations equal to each other? And unfortunately, that's not going to work because I have two unknown variables. Well, not a problem. Let's make life easy. So let's make life easy by reducing these fractions. So for the first equation, we can reduce that to 1 over 20. 1 equals s plus w times 1 20th. And for the second, 1 equals s minus w times 1 4th. Let's multiply in the first equation. Let's multiply both sides by 20. So 20 equals s plus w. In the second equation, let's multiply both sides by 4. And 4 equals S minus W. S minus W. We can add these two equations together. The W's will drop out. So 24 is equal to 2S. And so S, her skating rate, 24 divided by 2, would be 12 miles per hour. She's a good skater. We want to find the speed of the wind. Well, her speed is 12. 12 plus the wind would give us 20. So the speed of the wind would be 8 miles per hour. And we can check that here. Her speed rate at 12 minus the wind rate at 8. And 12 minus 8 gives us 4. So here's a nice distance problem. Again, showing you the setup of the system and the method of solution. I hope that helps you understand distance and how to solve problems of this type.